Hi, Hiram here. For those of you that have been watching my videos, you know that in the past I've done a couple of tests, uh, testing an idea that I saw in an article of Backpacker Magazine back in August of 2011, where they were saying that you could uh, paint the bottom of silver pots with flat black rust-oleum stove paint, and it would boost your efficiency by 30 to 40 percent. The last test that I did it with, I did it with these Imusa pots, the 12 centimeter, uh, <clears throat> without paint, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a full boil in 6 minutes and 13 seconds. With the paint on it, it came to a full boil in 5 minutes and 30 seconds. This time in this test, it was a little bit faster. In the previous test, it took a couple of uh, seconds longer with the paint. But even with that, that only saved 43 seconds. That's not 30 to 40 percent. So ever since I, I did that test, I keep having people write me saying that I need black pots, that a black uh, pot would work better. So the other day when I was in my local Army Navy store, I saw these. It's the Tech Sport, the Pathfinder mess kit, made out of hard anodized xylon, I guess. Says it's a lightweight, durable, twice as hard as stainless steel. So, it looked like a dark pot, $15, which really makes me think that that other deal that I got with the Espit, remember those? This was the full Espit kit, spirit stove, pot, stand, new burner handle, and that was only $14.99. So, of course, I bought up all I had, but anyway... I bought this, figuring I'd give it a try. Got it home, opened it up. Now on the side it says it has a half quart boiling pot with cover. Half quart, two cups. What my normal test is in something like this. But looking at it I thought, hmm. So I get it home, open it up. And inside it's a short pot. Now when I measured this, I measured, uh, took the dimensions of this, I'll put it down below in the text area, but when I measured water in here, two cups comes right about to the edge. If you go and put the lid on, the lid would be resting on the water. So it's not exactly what I would consider a uh, half quart pot, but it's a nice looking little pot comes with a measuring cup, frying pan, all out of this anodized aluminum. The other one shortcoming I think, is they put a handle grip on here, but no handle. You know, it would use something like this. But it doesn't come with it. So in order to do this test, I had to get a shorter pot out of one of my other kits. This is a about the same size. The measurements, the actually this one is a little bit smaller and shorter than that one. But I have a test running now. I have one and a half cups of water in here. It's been running for almost five minutes. So in this test I'll just use, use one and a half cups. This is just a plain aluminum, shorter dimensions, uh, 5.14 inches in inner diameter, one and three quarter inches tall, 73 grams in weight. On this one it's 5.07 inside diameter, height is 1.63 and the weight on this is uh, one, one, 117 grams. I'll put all that information down below. Okay, I think I'm going to have to break here. 
Wait until this comes to a boil, and then I'll come right back. Get our way up to 10. Oops. I cut that a little short. So let's say 647. In my haste, I didn't set the temperature right. But let's say 647 for that. All right, what I'll do now is I'll take this all off, let everything cool down, and I'll run the same test with this. Be right back. Okay, here's the second part of the test. I have the half quart pot from the Pathfinder Black Ice uh, mess kit on here. It's setting on the Trangia with the Mojo's pot stand. This is the Trangia with the well, wall hiker modification, the carbon felt on the inside. Now, I just did this from light up last time. Just like that. 60 degrees. Give it the one degree that the other one was missing. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 17 seconds. Cool. Okay. Hmm. That was quite a difference. Let me just shut this off. Huh. It's a little tippy. Hang on. It says lock handles, but I guess you got to be careful with it. Okay. So that time, that was one and a half cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 5 minutes and 17 seconds. Using the aluminum pot, almost the same size, uh, one and a half cups of water, came to a boil in 6 minutes and 47 seconds. So this took like a minute and a half longer. Maybe there is something to having the dark pots, the anodized. That's warm. So, hmm. Okay, so I guess maybe having the dark pots does make it heat up faster versus a painted pot. Now that might be, I didn't take through the math, but that's that's a pretty high percentage of efficiency there if it's just from the color and not from the difference in materials and stuff so that's the tech sport black ice hard anodized cookware oh I was looking at the instructions always look at the instructions the xylon is a non-stick coating on the inside so, I thank you for watching. I thank those that kept telling me to try a darker pot versus a shiny pot. This being so thin, I really would have thought this would heat up much faster, but apparently not. So, I thank those that told me about that. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions on this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. You're still watching? Wow, you must really like these videos. Tell you what I'm going to do. Anybody that's still watching this, leave me a message, not a comment, but a message that you want this mess kit and I'll send it to you free of charge. Now remember, a message, not a comment. That way if nobody else is watching this, just you, 
then you'll be the only name in the hat for a drawing for this. Uh, in one week from today, next Saturday, I'll do a little drawing. If your name gets picked, then you get this. So if you, you know, don't tell anybody about this, just put your name in it, then you'll get it. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.